Hello, my name is Jun Kubota, a radiologist. I explain how a affected site of brain actually causes symptoms. We deal with a case with motor aphasia. This is a CT image of a patient with cerebral infarction presenting motor aphasia. We can see low attenuation areas at the left frontal lobe. Motor aphasia is a kind of apraxia, which is the term given to disorder of conduction. Sensory aphasia is a kind of agnosia, which is the term given to disorder of cognition. So, we deal with disorder of conduction in this case. Brain has 10 functions in 5 categories. Consciousness as activation, promotion, inhibition, keeping tonus, and coordination as output or motion, pain and temperature, and gravity as input or perception, equilibrium as a reflex, and cognition and conduction as integration or higher brain function. For convenience of explanation, cerebral hemispheres are compared to northern half of the Earth. This is the North Pole. This is the equator. Anterior half painted in red corresponds to frontal lobe. Posterior half painted in blue corresponds to parietal, occipital, and temporal lobes. Looking at the surface of the northern half of the Earth from the left, we see the cerebral cortex. This is the North Pole, this is the equator. This is the primary motor cortex or Broadman's area 4. This is the premotor cortex or area 6. The tract of conduction runs from area 6 to area 4. as well as area 6 provides plans of movement of upper and lower limbs area 44 provides plans of movement of mouth when a person intends to speak something When area 44 is affected, plans of movement of mouth cannot be conveyed to area 4. After all, a patient cannot speak appropriately though his or her mouth is not paralyzed. This situation is motor aphasia. The affected site seen in CT corresponds to association field of left frontal lobe including area 44. Therefore, the lesion causes motor aphasia. And that's all. Thank you for watching.